So there it is in all its glory. Whoa, we got Elba. The Empire of Elba? What? I thought it was Britannia. Hold up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to House Brian reclaiming Britannia and Dynasty of Many Crowns. We're back with King Matthew, who just took the throne of England. So now is working towards bringing all the independent realms that belong to us de jour under our domain. We do have a couple of truces with uh, uh, Northumbria and East Anglia as we brought them under our control. Northumbria, we control these lands and it's leading us to have more holdings that we can efficiently take care of. So this guy's top one, he looks good to me. We're just going to go ahead and grant him that. And we're going to hold this last one to have uh, this duchy right here. And it does look like a pretty powerful archer building. So once these uh, debuffs go away, I do want to see how much uh, more we're going to be able to get if we station our archers there. Now, we are swaying a powerful vassal, but it, it has very low percentage and he has a relatively high opinion of us. And we are in need of another alliance. As we can see, we have three here. This one we can count on for 3,000 troops. Solid, but he's only a count. This one is a king, but he's in war. He's in severe debt. And uh, yeah, so we can't really count on him right now. And the king of Poland to our east, he is a strong ally, but he is older. So we can't really count on him for much longer. So we need to go ahead and sway another kingdom. And that's going to be the worthy of Burgundy. We're going to go ahead and start swaying her. Oh, that also has a very low chance. Well... Maybe we're not going to sway her. And we're just going to go ahead and start swaying our powerful vassals. Uh, establishing further control of our lands. And whatever happens internationally. So let's go ahead and start this war against Wales. For this uh, East Anglia here. Because we do have his duchy. And he is a child of the House of Normandy. He doesn't like us at all. So um, us getting him those lands will help with that opinion gain right there. So let's go to war against, seize the Duchy of East Anglia and go to war, declare war. Let's go ahead and raise up our troops here, but I didn't station them yet. So just real quickly, if we get 0 0.03 there, nice. We'll just station them there for now. We don't need all our troops as they don't have many. So we can just raise up them. Oh, and our son. I forgot about our son. We can start swaying him now before he gets his first diplomacy perk he is going down the learning tree so that would be best for us and let's get this lady right here convert faith no can we convert her to our faith 64 let's do that for years my skills and manners and etic has served me well and it occurs to me that this knowledge may also be of use to you i would be happy to share what i know in order to gain your favor oh so this is our powerful vassal learning would he get a hook on us? He does get a weak hook on us. Would this decrease his opinion? It would. But we get diplomacy. I mean, we get prestige. So we'll go with the prestige gain. Oh, she pays 500 to us. Oh, because we were going to declare war on her next. Cornwall right here. But that's pretty powerful. This crime cannot go unpunished. I think we're definitely in need of a nice little boost to our treasury. So I think we will take that. 500 gold for 15 years. We can just wait for the 15 years and then go for it. We're going to do that because we need it for our treasury. Nice. Oh, this has been going on. My bad. Okay. So let's check this. What? We already got a... Damn, we already got a... What do you call it? Began in Clifford. Wow. All right. Ain't that something? Bad air. Okay, this is what it is right here. It's devastated the people. What a waste of gold. We lose legitimacy. Well, we're not really losing any gold because that gold was a gift. And we'll lose stress because we're generous. So that's with, in line with our character. And, you know, it's worth a try. And then we're going to go ahead and... Wait, we were having her... We we're going to have her keep that because our daughter was... Okay, and excellent. She's sick, but... Now the patrol is... But because there is a disease, we need to go with a plague-resistant one here. Oops, hold on. And this is for our brother. He wants an artifact. No, this is a royal artifact, so we're going to have to leave that. And we do have some prisoners. Let's go ahead and check out these prisoners. 
This guy's a phenomenal, uh, whoa, dude's amazing. So we'll just demand his conversion, get, get him to Insular. And this guy is a duke, so he should have some money. He cannot afford the fool. How much money is he bringing in? Only 1.2, so we'll just take that as it is. And then this guy, he's, he's an okay knight. Almost there. Demand conversion. This guy, let's just get some gold whenever we can. She has a lot of gold. So we'll do that. Hi, King Matt. Man, our flu is uh, spreading. Okay. In times like these, it's best to be wary of any strange smells. This one, however, emanates from a corner of the market square and it is positively fragrant. Get your sachets here. Only the freshest and best herbs used. The crafty merchant's stall was covered in various ar aromatics and he holds a pouch filled with them in each hand as he hawks the wares. He notices me and extends one for me to try. Only the best, my lord. Keep you right safe from High King Matthew's flu, it will. I pluck the sachet from the pre-offered -pro hand. It does seem like something that would keep the maisma away. How many do you have for sale? Overly fragrant. We don't need that. We don't need to lose stress. One couldn't hurt for 250. We're not going to do that, so. We're not going to lose any money with this one, so we'll just go with that one. Okay, we did capture the capital there. Where is his army? As long as he's not at our capital, that'll be best. Okay, he's over here. So let's go over here and meet his army. As long as this one is not a hostile army here. Okay, what are they at war for? So we set our spy master to try to find secrets because uh, we lost that liberty war. And they were, uh, a lot of our vassals were renegotiating their contracts. So let's check this out again. He gets the nickname Prince of Fashion. Okay, so I think we'll do that one. This looks like pretty good for us. So our flu has already killed a couple people. It's no longer. All right. Oh, wait, here it is. Yep. Usually uh, there's no issue with them having the... I think I'm going to go with that victory is enough. Usually... Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. So this duke might join him. We must call the sheep. We'll just go with that one. Well, he's sadistic. We probably should have went with the second option. Oh, snap. We're not doing anything over here. So let's just do that. Do we have a sieging? We don't have any sieging ones. So we'll go with that one. Oh, man. And I forgot, too. We did have our knight. It's no longer there. He, we didn't have a successor right here. We don't... Dang, there's no longer a successor. Let's go anatomical studies there. A core position will have better outcomes. So she'll be better at her job there. They are unseaging. Oh no, they're not. They abandoned it. So our, okay, our vassal died in his sleep. Medicinal jar. Nice. Learning lifestyle experience plus 10. Okay, so we are. This jar saves lives. Give it to me. If you say so, please carry on. Oh, we'll just leave that one. Returned in exile to your custody. We need a new marshal. Our high. Let's see. Could go with the best man available or we could please a knight. He's not terrible. So we can go with this one just to please one of our knights. He is older as well, so he may not survive. Oh, they... Oh, dang, that was a close battle. I didn't even notice. Wow. They definitely had the number on us. There's 5,000 of them there. We killed 4,000. Wow, we were outnumbered 3 to 1. It's quite a victory. 3 to 1, wow. So our knights put in the most work. And our armored footman as well. 76% chance we'll do that. All right, nice. We got some more lifestyle experience. And we're going to need to uh, just raise up a couple levies. Just a couple. Let's see. We don't need both of them. Oh, okay, that's the war. So let's go ahead and end that. We get some legitimacy now. We did lose some from the plague. So that's a benefit. And now he does get it. Oh, he doesn't get opinion gain of us. Press my claim. Yeah, so we got 50, but we're still... All right, well, we'll work on that. And then we can't go, oh, what happened here? Oh, he pressed his own war and extended his realm there. Okay, that's cool. And it doesn't look good here. It doesn't look good here. Criminal deserves nothing but disdain. Okay, this is for the second one. She's learning. Let's go with compassionate, ambitious and compassionate. Dang, 41 people. I wonder when it will go away. Oh, so our... Our brother did bring his lands under full control. We do have 700 gold now. 
So we could press our claim there. And that would give us enough for uh, Britannia. Our aunt falls ill. Our brother is sadistic. He is craven, but that's not stopping him because we severely outnumber him militarily. And yeah, our brother is sad very sadistic. So I think this would be something that we do. So let's go ahead and press that war. We got the achievement Blad but Bad Blood. Go to war with one of our siblings over a claim. And this is for okay for our personal player heir. Let's go. Let's just go compassionate as well. And then let's raise our troops right up at his border here. And but first, let's see. Uh, I want to see how much are we able to get here. 13. Okay, so it's not more than where they're stationed at right now. So we'll just leave them up. Raise all our troops there. I mean, we can disband them later. Rough gemstone was destroyed. Okay, so we're losing 31. We got way too many troops up. We'll just have them as is. We can send one troop to siege while we send our other to go chase them in battle. And it looks like they're we're going to go sail towards our capital. Okay, but they're not going to get there in time. And we're just going to have to keep chasing them now. We're going to have to work our way over here somehow. Okay, he's over here. Are we going to catch them? Let's see. Yeah, they're, they're going to du duke it out right here. Wait, can we get that knight though real quick now? No, dang, that's terrible. This was for the heavy infantry. That was our best one so far. Yeah. Okay, let's check out this battle. Okay, we do have a severe disadvantage. Okay, because they're defending a straight crossing. But we just have too many troops. Let's go with that one there. And then our army is sieging down over here. They have a couple more months to make our way back to our land. Show in our duke. And then we do have a court event. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's protect our army here. Send them to the capital now. We'll station him here. And then let's quickly see what this court event is. Excellent. Okay, my beloved. Okay. It would appear that my courtiers are enjoying themselves. I should let them be. We get court grandeur bonus and 75. So let's go ahead and do that. And our court grandeur increases. How much time do they have here? They have nine months. So that's a long time. Let's see. They might try to go to our capital. But if they do, um, we'll send them this unit. How long do we have? We have four months here. So we don't need both of them. Let's just disband them, decrease the amount of uh, money and gold we're losing per month, which is quite a bit. Restore accolades decision. Yeah. Okay. So we got to keep an eye on them. I think they might go to our capital, actually. So let's just send them there. Oh, actually, nope. They're coming here. And let's just catch them. Welcome them to our Irish lands. And they should still have that disembark modifier. We got a faction popping up. Let's see what's going on there. Okay. So this is a pretty powerful uh, faction that's popped up. Let's just continue to go there. Okay, this war is not over yet. That's four level eight, so I'd rather not do that. Is that the... Okay, no, that's not a barony. So let's go back down here for 20 days. And it says we're going to catch them there. Now let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. So it's just our English vassals here. Oh, I forgot we had the Mongols going on. So it looks like the Mongol Empire is now collapsed and their heirs are now going to take it with their respective kingdoms. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Whoa, still very large empires of their own in their own right. OK, so that's the war there. We captured them. Dang, now this guy is sadistic. He might just straight up execute him. That's a wowzers right there. If he did that, that's a wowzers. But. We don't need to hold on to the kingdom of Scotland. We just needed this territory to form Britannia and then we can re-grant it to our brother. Because he is generous at the same time. So yeah, we won't execute him. But we will just take the kingdom and then re-grant it to him or to our brother Joshua or our uncle Joshua here from a, from a couple episodes back. But he is going through a tyranny war right now. This guy's solid and solid character traits overall, nothing evil. So that's pretty good for three generations. But let's go ahead and check out how much do we need now for Britannia. And we are eligible to create Britannia right now. So I think we are going to do that. There's nothing I can do. Summon the physician. So did this enter our lands as well now? To be too severe, we take a light approach. And then we'll go with a soft approach. 
and we got to get rid of oh that's right so let's go ahead and um let's see let's got to check out this uh okay we have 10 months here so we have time nice okay so we got a success there so we have time to deal with that and in the meantime i think we could uh just i think it would benefit us to create the let's go ahead and create it we're gonna get 500 prestige will that get us see how much, how much closer it does it gets us to exalted among men nice so there it is in all its glory whoa we got elba the empire of elba what i thought it was britannia hold up oh man did i mess it up oh, no right here okay okay so we need to fully control it that's all oh let's check these real quick though okay so now there's another scots pox over here so now that we control the um, oh he's landless he doesn't have any land in there oh this was what we controlled okay so this is where he was ruling from he does not like us and he may i wonder how much it would give oh he's not even in our court he's not swayed so we will invite him to our court and then yeah i think we're just gonna re-grant him this title actually we'll leave it up for vote we'll put it up for vote if we grant our powerful vassal here who holds the kingdom de jour and was the the family member who we were planning on granting and making him the king of scotland or if we grant it to our brother we'll let y'all decide but yeah we formed the the empire of elba so then now how much are we able to a shadow over norfolk so there's a lot of uh we got a lot of diseases going on over here a soft approach that this plague risks destabilizing the entire realm, decimating our people and crops if we do not take radical action now. Damn. Desperate measures are required. We're going to send a follow our physician's advice. She's excellent at her job, so we're just going to trust her to do it. And we need to go with this court tutor. Wonderful. Nice. Okay, so we got a good success with that. We'll make our sister-in-law. And then let's go ahead and have a food taster just in case we get murdered. We'll go with this guy. We have a strong hook on him, so he cannot uh, join in any any uh, schemes against us. We're just going to have to uh, demand his conversion. And this lady, this looks pretty nasty. So while there is a disease going on here, we don't want to go to war against him. But we do want to hold this, this duchy here, as it is the capital of England and Britannia. So we will abandon this and grant it to our second son, if we do have one and uh yeah we'll hold this duchy of munster the original duchy as it is pretty powerful i don't think we're gonna end up holding uh, dublin or we might as well we might just hold three uh, duchies we'll hold uh, munster dublin these two meath duchy of meath and then we'll just hold this duchy here uh, at least one or a barony or something as well and uh we'll go from there because this is the irish lands and our culture is what we're making powerful. Summon the physician. And we do only have like eight more months, I think, for this one. Oh, man, we were researching the wrong thing the whole time. The plague is sent to us by Satan. And it is only thing, only by thinking outside the box that we could hope to undo this curse. So we're just going to continue to follow it. Whatever esoteric practices. The boar tusk. Just to get, it's not that great of an artifact. So we just grant it to her. Okay, let's see what this is. Artifacts. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got a new throne. What's going on over here? We got a... All right. Oh, King Harold's Mace. We'll do that one. 250. Why not? Sweet. Now, we do have a couple building slots that we could upgrade and build. But let's just rebuild our treasury again. Nice. So that was successful as well. Preventing that one. That plague sent by Satan. And then we're just going to have to continue to look to uh, establish our full control here. We could offer vassalage. Let's offer her vassalage. Why not? Oh, she won't accept. She gets smallpox. She might survive. Nice. Okay, so she won't accept. We have a treaty with her. So we have to honor that treaty. And how much more do we have? Okay, so we could go for Northumbria again. Oh, he died. So that there, they split. So we could go for our claims here. If we siege this do we get the title no he becomes our vassal so we're gonna have to take one county at a time and that's gonna have to be uh london 
Which one is London? This one here is London. So we got to hold London ourselves. And why can we not? There we go. That's London. We want London. Let's go get London. How many troops does he have? So we definitely don't need to raise up all the troops. But we are eligible to... Let's raise it up here, actually. Because, uh, yeah. We are eligible to get one more man-at-arms unit. Uh, which is great. Let's see how much loot we can get. We can get 41 loot. Oh, we just wiped his army out. We'll go as you wish because we're craving. We have three months there only. We got a new perk. Let's go ahead and go with pl Plague Resistance 5 plus 5. So the... Nothing we can do. So regardless, we get Plague Trials. Damn. What's up with this one here? Oh, we need a... For our daughter. Consider your choices carefully. No. If it was patient, because patient grants learning. Oh, that's right. Dang, I totally forgot about that faction. And it just disbanded on its own. So that's good for us. And then what land? Whoa, this is our capital. We got to isolate our capital. Isolate capital because it's... Yeah, whoa, that's pretty close. And let's go ahead and invite some knights. Oh, we can't invite knights. Jesus be praised. Okay, so see, she's healed from that. Root them out. The world is coming to an end that the, the pox was sent by god send your best theologians to debate them whoa let's see what this one does oh damn so i think this is our best option here we're gonna lose a grip of money but nice so with that wipe whoa look at our tr whoa damn i didn't realize so let's go ahead and uh negotiate release and let's get a hook on her Soldiers like a peasant, just close the barracks door. Damn. A soldier's like a peasant. <laughs> Damn, we'll just go ahead and increase the wages. This is uh, crazy. This thing's expensive. So she, we can get another uh, spouse with her. Let's go ahead and get a knight. By prow we can go with this guy, actually. Yeah, look at that. So we'll go with this guy. And then we'll go ahead and make her our court physician again. Because we definitely need her. This guy, we can just demand his conversion. This guy, we could just demand his conversion. Oh, wait up. I think we got our best accolade back. Ah, no, we didn't. This is what it means to be a guardian. Dang, we need to be able to get that one. A new opponent. Okay, so a new liege, a new duke. And yeah. So our lands are being ravaged. Look at our... Dang. On top of the minus 30 with this character. That's right, I forgot. So this war is almost over. Let's just end this war. Oh, it renewed. We have a son. Or oh, our sister has a name of Joshua there. Let's go ahead and get this lady here. Oops. So what do we need now then? Oh, he, he becomes the... Let's just take him out here. Our sister died. And then let's go over here. Dang, I only had 25 and the son. Damn, man, these diseases are crazy. It's wiping everybody out. Wiping everybody out. Let's check the sway. Our diplomacy. Okay, that's at 56%. Uh, let's see. Are we able to get this one off in time before them? No. So we we're just going to go ahead and get this one. And we're going to have to go back there. Or oh, they're attacking us. Meddling in marriage. This is our rival. Okay, interesting. That's going to fail. That's going to fail. So we'll just go with that one. And they are attacking us. Okay. So this is our player trait. Patient would give him more learning. And just will grant him more learning as well. And stewardship. So we're going to go with that one right there. Just. And let's check the war. This battle. Okay. We are going to win. It's suggesting. We're going to win. Alright. Nice. So now our glory is widely known. Damn. We're, we don't have a oddest gemstone. This is the one we just got. I think that's fine. We don't need that. Let's just go ahead and grant that one away. I must warn her. Just go with that. Okay, now we must go ahead and capture his capital again. London. And... Damn. There's just all kinds of war going on here. Just go with that one there. I mean, these animals must become a crime. I suppose there's nothing I can do. Just go with that one. Another battle here. Now, we are exalted among men. And our dynasty is almost at the level of glorious splendor. We got uh, this going on. Dissolution fact faction. 
Alrighty. Interesting. So we have some time there. Let's go ahead. This will further her stewardship education. So let's go ahead and do that one then. No brainer. We do need this war to be over so we can get a treasury. There it is. So now we hold London. We got legitimacy, but we're still losing money. Oh, damn. Damn. That's crazy, yo. So we need to get rid of some of these. Damn, that's crazy. Look at how much money we're losing. We're losing seven gold. Yo, we're really losing seven gold. The development is dropping like crazy. There's no control here. So let's go ahead and set our marshal. Damn, look at all of our lands are ravaged. We need to hire a seneschal. Oh, we got to further convert these lands here. Is he insular? This person is not insular. So let's go ahead and go. Let's do London. We're going to be holding on to London. Okay, nice. Okay, the golden has came back up. I thought we were going to need to start reducing the court grandeur, letting go of some regiments. And we are out of a little bit of a... So let's go ahead and grant this away then. He's at war. Oh, so she's going for the... Oh, damn. So then maybe we don't make him the... Not quite my finest hour. I think then we just go and make our brother the, the king. Okay, this is for our youngest daughter. We'll go with that one. She's no longer a court tutor. Oh, she gets irritable. Damn. Show this lady in at once. Serve me well. And then let's just go ahead and make him king again. I think we just make him king. We did lose some gold per month. Because now we're not getting the full amount. But I think it's okay. And then what do we need to do to further? He holds our duchy. And we just went to war against him. And we need all of this land here. So he's fighting for his claims there. We'll let that uh, do what it needs to do. And we should be able to go to war against Wales again. So we could bring th this king under control. But we don't have enough treasury. Let let's first build up our treasury. Actually, we if we're only bringing in four. Yeah, so we're going to need to wait to bring Wales in. And damn, look at this. It's only ravaging this North Sea area. Byzantine. Okay, never mind. There's a lot of going on. Dang. Oh, this was the guy. His second son, though. Wait a minute. I thought we had a... Oh, what? I thought we had a House Brian member on the throne over here. I thought we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Look, here it was. Damn. And then the next kingdom we are going to want to form is Antiquain. Further weaken France. Make Antiquain independent. That way, it further boost up our dynasty renown. Because we have... Brittany here. We are going to want Poland. Poland just died right now. So we are no longer allied with Poland. Only Brittany. So we do need an ally. We are very susceptible right now. But there is no faction anymore. That faction disbanded. Thankfully. Okay, nice. We're bringing in way more gold now. That was a bit worrying. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hard to be an emperor without uh, having any money coming in. So that's, yeah. Intriguing. A mighty pen. Okay, she increases her marshal by one. We still have that spot empty. Nice, okay. Let's go for the trinkets. Let's probably get this one in. And we could commission another artifact. Oh, we, uh, we can take... Uh, oh, it automatically ends the isolation. Okay. He will become the owner of that. No. Yes, pay us. Restore... Ac okay, we could invite knights now. Restore accolades. Eligible can candidates for every enact... Uh, yep, let's do that. Spend that 200. This is perverse. We're definitely not going to get that. We'll just go with perverse. Lash out. Renounce vows of poverty. Oh, nice. So we could get more gold now. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Renounce the vows of poverty. Because how much was that? 20%? That's 20% of our income. Oh, man. That guy just died. Oh, we're going to... Whoa. He is generous. But he's... Also, damn, this is such a weird mix for a character. Just, <laughs> it's a weird mix. Keeping him on the toes, I guess. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, well. Can we get, make it 40 days and beat anyone who descends? Just going to go with that one. Appoint a worthy successor there. Yep. Put it on display. Nice. Oh, it did lose a glory rank. Though. Seek a worthy successor. We definitely need that. This is our best one for our heavy infantry. Our wife is pregnant. And we couldn't invite knights, but uh, let's get some more gold. 
The trials will end. Kill them all. Damn. Catch them and bring them to the capital. The mud. Now my usual courtly duties are interrupted by a group of poachers. It has come to my attention that my associates hear that you have a bit of a dog problem. Dogs are disgusting creatures surrounded by bad air and filth. We're men of the people and we are willing to hunt down every last one of those monsters until the plague disappears. Damn. Plague beast. Five years. Popular opinion. Kill them all. We'll just go with that bottom one. Actually, let's go ahead and invite the knights. And we can just invite whoever. Or recruit whoever. Whenever. Another one here. Let's go ahead and get carefree. And then we could uh, start working towards... We could even go for the, the stewardship one to hold on to that. He's an average knight, but we won't recruit him. And we could grant this one away. They grow up fast. Okay, sweet. Let's check on our son, our player heir. Okay, nice. He's gotten much better since we've taken over. And we do need to solidify him a very powerful alliance. Is anybody within five years? This duchy is usually pretty powerful. 9,000 troops. Yep. So we're going to have to try to see if we could... Uh... Wait, who did we get an alliance with? France. How did we get in a... That's interesting. How that formed. When we weren't able to do that before. He's at landed at our court. So if they have sons. I think we definitely pressed... Oh, we have an alliance though. Damn. So it would have to be after this king. Dang. Many alleged treatments. If you give me the necessary resources. I should like to assemble my findings in a book. So that future generations will not be so aggrieved by plague as we have, as we have been. We definitely have been, and he is generous and a learning man, so he would like a book as an artifact. So we are going to spend this gold to hopefully get an artifact. Yeah, okay, so we did. Let's go ahead and check it out. Right here, it is blue, so it is pretty good. The Courts of Agriculture. Let's go with that one. Let's check this one out. Plague Resistance and Small Health Boost. Let's go ahead and unequip that one and put... plug. You can only have three books or what? What about the bejeweled scriptures? More learning. So for him to get generous. We don't. Generous is an amazing thing. An amazing trait to have. But for Crusader Kings 3 as the primary heir. 20% of your. Uh, but I think we're going to want to go for a different one. Fickle. I don't, I don't really like Fickle. Because it's taken away from the diplomacy. Let's just have him get more uh, prestige with that one. And we have to grant him some artifacts. Let's go ahead and grant him some artifacts. That's going to help him boost up. Monthly stewardship. Okay, he's not a steward. So, okay, we do have a second son. We'll name him... Oh, Gregory would have been a good one. We'll name him Jordan. Oh, that's not good. Have our wife become insular. Okay, now we need to go... Okay, uh, last night. This guy is a good knight. He does not like us. We must do whatever we can to end this. Simply allowed me to do my job. The treatment works. Okay, sweet. So this guy doesn't like us. He will not. Let's just find him a spouse. Get him married. To our, one of our house members. She is 25. He's 28. I think that'll be great. He does have that Castilian. God in my prayer. We'll see how long his, uh, his family line goes. We'll have her marry that. Her. Improves slightly. We'll go ahead and do that. The last night. He could fight. What's going on here? Prophet in the halls. Repent today. Learn the truest truth. Step into the light. Since he's joined my court, his persistent attempts to convert everyone to his foreign cult have become the background noise to my everyday life. Day and night, he stalks the courtyards, patrols the hallways, and hides in wait for unsuspecting bypassers in dark corners, ready to persuade them with his insistent screeching. My courtiers are exhausted, and Burnhand ambushes me on my way to the chamber pot. I'm inclined to agree with their discontent. We can tolerate this no more. Enough of this. Damn. I definitely don't want that. He's one of our best knights. All courtiers and guests of a different faith. They get... We'll lose a little bit of court grandeur, but we lose stress and everybody... Get, I didn't realize he would be going to jail. Hold up. Negotiate release. We can demand... He will not accept conversion. All right. And did we lose... Did we just lose an... An accoladed knight? No, we didn't. Okay. Or maybe we did. No, he's serving as a knight. Improved significantly. For 42 gold, we're going to get another excellent knight. He's not a commander, but he's a good knight. And we can go ahead and can demand his conversion. And I thought he was going to be the... There we go. Our stepbrother David died. Faction created against us. Dissolution faction. Died that she's in Norway. 
The Duchy of Mercia. Whoa, look at that. This dude's an amazing. Yeah. But that's not enough to bring him into a positive opinion of us. Cultural acceptance is the next biggest thing. His strong believers. Him being compassionate and us sadistic. That could work against us. But I think we don't want him against us. So how would this sway go? He is young, so we're going to need to start swaying him big time. I want to sway him at least once or twice before we put him on the council to get him at least even. Eh. Yeah, we're going to need to do that. Now we're negative again. Uh, this is crazy. These are powerful vassals, but they're not good. Uh, they got, they're not good knights. So let's go ahead and put our brother-in-law, who's married to our sister, on the court. Now, we do need to get rid of this one. And why not grant it to this guy here? We'll do that. And how old is our... He's 14, so we could almost grant him land. So, he's 41. So we do need to find him a spouse pretty soon. There's no plagues in our lands, finally, which is great. And, how? okay. Okay, so we could go for another land here. Summon the physician. Plague does not appear to be too severe. Take a light approach, soft approach, then that is what we do. Nice, okay, so that succeeded. Sway, we have eight months. The faction is going down, but a liberty faction is popping up that we do need to take care of. So mostly in England. And we do still need a powerful, oh, we do, that's right. We did get a powerful ally in France. We could also start swaying him as he does not like us. I would like Burgundy. Oh, she married all of the sisters. Okay, so Burgundy's out of the question now. But two powerful allies to the south is, is great. Is great for us, for sure. And we could use France and Brittany for these wars against Norway. They are in severe debt. And I believe, yeah, we can take all these lands in one war. So that that that's probably what we'll do in the next episode. Emperor Matthew, no longer High King Matthew of Alba. Until we bring all these lands under control. And then we have reclaimed Britannia for the Irish. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.